Hey guys, welcome back to Home Chem. We are in the Indoor Air Quality Laboratory uh, that is run by Dr. Richard Corsi at the University of Texas Austin. This is a bunch of toxic materials, otherwise known as consumer products that we spray on ourselves. And this happens to be full mostly of things that I'm seeing on teenagers' bodies uh, in schools. So what's really cool about Dr. Richard Corsi's work is that this thing has six ingredients listed on it. This is what is actually in this. This is 100 different chemical compounds. And so my question is, Dr. Richard Corsi, what the hell? <laughs> what, what is going on here? Well, you know, companies aren't required to list all the ingredients that are in their products. And to understand all the ingredients that are in consumer products uh, requires pretty sophisticated analysis. So if you look at this instrument right here. Oh, hello. Um, when we do analysis of consumer products, we have to inject um, a sample of the consumer product into this machine uh, without getting into all the details. Um, and this machine, to just analyze the composition of, a co of one consumer product, takes us about an hour and a half or so. It requires somebody who really understands what they're doing. It's almost like searching for thumbprints in an FBI database mm -hmm. to identify particular molecules. And for a new instrument like this, the, the cost of this instrument is on the order of about 125 to $150,000. So it's so not I'm an not going to have one of these in my house exactly. to test my stuff. It's not something that everybody's going to have in their garage. Exactly. Okay, yeah. cool. So what's important to us in the home performance world, and for anybody who lives in homes, which is you and me and you, is that the home is a system. Mm -hmm. We always talk about the home is a system. Everybody said it after me, et cetera. Um, this stuff is part of the system of my home. And I didn't even know before we got here this week yeah. that this was something that I should even be yeah. considering. Yeah, no, it, it really is. And what happens when you use these products in your home is that you think that I've opened them up, I've sprayed the products in the air, I can't smell it anymore, therefore it's gone. And really what happens is this becomes an intimate part of the system. So the chemicals that are in these products will stick to your carpet, they'll stick to your walls, they'll stick to your clothing. And it sometimes takes some of the chemicals quite a long time to come off. It turns out how you operate your own home has an impact on what happens to those chemicals that are lingering on surfaces. If the relative humidity in your home goes up, the water molecules in the air tend to drive these chemicals off of surfaces in your home. And so as the relative humidity goes up, you get this gush of stuff from not just one consumer product, but all the consumer products you've used for the last week start basically migrating into the air and you're inhaling that kind of collective composite of all those things that are stuck to the foam in your carpet cushion, to, to your carpet, to your walls, so that sounds bad, but I, could I use that approach to kind of flush my home and, in, and encourage, uh, clean the walls? Because I'm not going to take a sponge and clean all my drywall yeah, in my no. house. So that's a great, great point. So one of the things that my research team has tried to do is to rethink building materials. Is can we find building materials that chemically react away bad things or that adsorb and at least temporarily sequester bad things that then bleed off very, very slowly? So they're even bleeding off when you're not home, when you're at work during the day or while your child's at school during the day and so that you're not exposed to as much of the stuff when it's coming off because it's, it's coming off very, very slowly even at times when you're not home. Ultimately, what I would love to see is the design of materials that when you're not home could be heated up and your home could be flushed so that you're driving a lot of this, a lot of this stuff off of surfaces after they've been sequestered on surfaces at times when nobody's going to be exposed to it. Very We're a long way from that, but technically and theoretically certainly and technically I think we can get there. That is super cool. So in the, in the test house at Home Chem we have no soft surfaces. It's hard floor, hard walls, no furniture in there and that is not all good, soft things in your house you know, that are going to absorb are not bad. They're going to absorb some stuff, but his point is that it's if it, as long as it then gives off what is absorbed when you're not around, right. so that you can, and this is a whole new layer of tuning a home, I think, that's right. very exciting. Yeah, I do too. Thank you for your work. Thank you, Corbin. You guys, right. comment, participate, stay tuned. <laughs> if you don't believe this stuff, that's perfectly fine. Go to the Home Chem website. It's in the link below. It's on the Home Diagnosis uh, website. You can see all the links to everything. So please do follow. Learn about this stuff. We're finding it incredibly important. See you tomorrow.